for their lives while firefighters were forced to retreat as the building's roof caved in. The unit's windows are obscured by trees. It's hard for firefighters to get a clean shot. Really high. They find an angle on the ground, another from above, closing off several streets in Darlington. I just saw the black smoke coming out while I was walking up the landway. Sirens first, wake me up, or did wake me up, and got me out of bed to see what was going on, and then it was just chaos. It's well alight inside. The roof and stairwell partially collapse, forcing firefighters back onto the street. They were confronted with a significant and intense fire. Almost 20 residents also on the run. Diners too, having breakfast at the cafe on the bottom floor. Everybody just came in and said like, yeah, we just like come up from the building because it's quite dangerous. Ying Tan was working downstairs. She heard it before she saw it. Just stop everything, uh, just get my phone and come up. The firefighting effort has taken some three hours inside. It is too unsafe to enter for those authorities and no word yet on when the residents that were evacuated can re-enter. Sadly, late this afternoon, confirmation, one man didn't make it out. A male in aged in his 60s who is a resident of the unit block is currently unaccounted for. It's definitely a tragedy that uh, we don't like to see. Corner unit in the upper levels has been destroyed. It has been gutted by the fire. The man is yet to be formally identified and the unit is still too unsafe to access. In Darlington, Alex Heinke, 9 